All right, welcome everyone, and let's start the new chapter today, which is a hemonk. Okay, let's go with uh, embryology, fetal erythropoiesis. Uh, in fetal erythropoiesis, occurs in the yolk sac, the liver, the spleen, the bone. And this is way better if you just we look at this picture here. So uh, the yolk sac is from, let's just also look at the time frame. They're saying three to eight weeks. But I think just to keep in mind what, what the organs are, uh, where the fetal erythropoiesis is occurring, the time, I mean, I'm not sure if it's that important or not. But let's figure it out. So we have the yolk sac, the liver, the spleen. And at this point, at about 18 weeks, the bone marrow starts producing it. And after birth, 100% is going to go for from the bone marrow. So before the birth, we have the jock sac, the liver, the spleen. And s slowly so start off the, from the bone marrow. And right after birth, it's just bone marrow. And that's the, uh, the mnemonic they have is the young liver synthesizes blood which means jock sac, or liver, spleen, and bone marrow. So just know the names of the organs. Jock sac, liver, spleen, bone marrow. All right, next we have the hemoglobin development. Well, embryonic globin, embryonic globin, which is what is this, a delta and epsilon. Let me see, I should have a note on this thing. No, nothing, okay. Uh, in, in embryonic uh, uh, globins, we have this thing, I don't know what it's called, you can pronounce it, maybe in uh, delta or something, and epsilon. Now let's talk about the fetal hemoglobin, which is HBF, HBF, alpha 2, gamma 2, right? And let's talk about the adult one, which is HBA1, alpha 2, beta 2. HBF has a higher affinity for O2 due to less avid binding of 2,3-BPG, allowing HBF to extract O2 from maternal hemoglobin HBA1 and HBA2 across the placenta. I mean, the thing is, uh, the core yield is HBF has more affinity so that's why when the in the uh, in the maternal blood we have the hba1 a and a2 which contains the o2 so it's going to draw that oxygen from there to here so uh, you should have a very high affinity for o2 than these guys in order for them to give you oxygen which is hbf okay so that, that that's all they're saying over there but um Across about HBA2, which is alpha 2, delta 2, is a form of adult hemoglobin present in small amounts. So, majority we have HBA1. Remember, H we, what do we check in glucose? Uh, HBA1C levels. So, HBA1 is majority and very minority. We have the HBA2 in adults. In fetus, we just have the alpha 2, gamma 2. Okay. That's all here. So fetal hemoglobin to adult hemoglobin is alpha always. Okay, yeah, looking at a graph at the bottom. Alpha is always. Alpha always. So look at alpha. This is alpha. It came. It, it started right here. It's all the time present continuously. Alpha is always. Right? So look at these alphas too. Always, always. Always, always alpha. But the beta one is like either it's beta, either delta, or it's either it's uh, gamma. Right? So looking at this, uh, we have uh, gamma here. This is gamma. And this is beta. Okay? And if you have a gamma, you got to just remember this thing. Uh, alpha and gamma is the HBF. And beta, if you were to add beta to it, that's the HBA1, as mentioned here. But let's look at this mnemonic here. Alpha always got that point. Gamma goes. Let's look at gamma now. Gamma, 
which is right here gamma goes yes at birth becomes beta so as soon as the gamma is going look the trend is that the beta is coming up so that's a really nice mnemonic to to memorize alpha is always gamma goes g for gamma g for goes and beta uh, becomes beta okay so yeah that's pretty much for this thing moving on with the blood grouping very important clinically uh, and very easy so let's talk about this blood grouping what do we have we have the ABO classification and RH classifications um, How about this? Give me Alia. Uh, so we'll talk this in, in the next video.